What's up with your last name? Have you ever wondered that? Did you know surnames haven't always existed and still aren't universally used in some cultures today? In China, last names have been used since the second century BC. But in Europe, it didn't really become a thing until about the Middle Ages. Spanish-speaking countries use two surnames. They use the father's last name and the mother's last name. And thank God for that, because there's a whole lot of Jose's and Maria's. Check those Mexican records, let me tell you. English surnames were used to identify a certain aspect of that person, such as trade, father's name, place you were from, or a physical feature. Native Americans, they have a different naming pattern, so that makes it actually very hard to trace. So they'd be like Black Hawk or White Owl or whatever, and that doesn't follow the line. It's just every individual person has their own identity and therefore their own last name, which can be completely different from their parents. Scandinavian countries do a whole other process for their naming, which makes it very difficult once you get to the Scandinavian country to trace your lineage. But once those ancestors had come over to North America, they kept the last name like Anderson or Johnson, and then that continued in North America. So there, any kind of um, Scandinavian countries, if your father's name was Ander, you would become, if you were a guy, Ander's son. If you were a girl, you'd be Ander's daughter. Same with John, John's son, or John's daughter. And that was their naming, and is their naming tradition. I think they still do it.